The Collins 618S1 is one of the first truly automatic HF radio transceivers. The radio has 144 crystal control channels that can be selected through the remote control head. Also, it comes with the 180L series automatic antenna tuners that will tune the radio's output to a length of wire between 50 and 100 feet. We'll apply 28 volts to the radio and turn the radio off. We'll check to make sure we have our 28 volt supply to the radio and also confirm that we have the 250 volt B plus supply to the radio. Then we'll apply the 115 volts 400 cycle source. We'll select a different channel on the radio. And when you select a channel, what will happen is the variable IF RF front end racks will automatically tune themselves for that channel. The racks first go to the center of the position of the racks, and then after centering, we'll go ahead and tune themselves to the appropriate channel. We'll select a different band, and when you change a band, in addition to the racks moving, you'll also see the PA deck reposition itself to the appropriate course location for plate tuning for that band. There are four bands on the radio. King the transmitter, we can see the plate current. The grid drive to the PA. And an indication of power on the antenna tuner. If the antenna tuner is properly tuned, you will not see any indication on the meter. Test, test, test. One, two, three. Test, test, test. And that concludes the tour of the 100-watt Collins 16S1 aircraft HF transceiver.